That's Mark, that's Evan, me and Tom. Amy Ballin showed us some old pictures of her husband Tom, who passed away last month. The stress and sadness of losing the love of your life can be overwhelming. You know, the whole thing of getting used to somebody not being here and being alone, having to deal with all of the things that uh, go with it. And the grieving process can get even worse if someone steals your lost loved one's identity and hijacks their mail. Just days after Tom Ballin passed away and his obituary was posted in the paper, someone contacted the U.S. Postal Service to have Tom's mail forwarded from his home in Scottsdale to an unknown address in Atlanta, Georgia. I would never have expected that. It's not something I would have, I, it's not something I would ever have thought about that somebody would do a change of address for, for Tom. In fact, we did some digging and found two more recently deceased individuals with their mail forwarded to the same address in Georgia. When you lose a family member, you're preoccupied. Alex Juarez with AARP tells us scammers are constantly targeting people after death because no one is checking their bills or credit reports. They look at the obituaries who passed away and if it provides certain information like an address, an age, maybe a maiden name, those are things that they look for to steal the identity. It is very easy for them to get the social security number of a person that has passed away. I would never have guessed that somebody would have changed it. Ballin is hoping that by sharing her story, it will warn others to take precautions, even when they're dealing with a family tragedy. This is a scam that people need to know about.